When I talk about sex to couples, I'm very careful to point out that one of the things that can mess it up for you is if you've been very sexually active before you get married. And I talk about some of the damage and, and stuff that can uh, result from being uh, sexually promiscuous before marriage. But I want to stress that it's not the end of the world for you. It's not like you can't have a great sex life. You can. You can have a wonderful sex life. It's just that for a lot of you, it's going to be just a little more difficult. You're going to have to be a little bit more deliberate. It won't come as easy and natural for you had you have waited. That's why God encourages people to wait. It's not because he's a prude. It's not because he's against people having a good time. He knows we're not wired that way. Uh, we, we get into this stuff, we'll pick up all kinds of struggles that we can deal with for, for the rest of our lives. But uh, it's not that it's hopeless, it's just that you need to be more deliberate. Guys are going to need to be more deliberate. They can't keep closing their eyes and fantasizing back to some lustful scenario. Um, it's destructive. You'll never get to a great sex life doing that. And women can't have an attitude of, gee, sex doesn't mean anything. It means everything in a relationship. Um, it, might not feel that way because of what you've been through in the past, but you're going to have to be more deliberate about it.